How did the whole association with Jean come about? Well, um, we did have... Did at least call you first and say, I'm showing up? No, he didn't call me. He just showed up. <laughs> but, uh, but we do have a mutual friend in George St. Pierre. Yes. John did come, and um, he asked me where I trained him, and I told him, you know, I, not, I might not be able to have time right now because yeah. you know, I might have yeah. surgery on my back yeah. and so forth. Uh, you know, he kept showing up, and uh, his work ethic was really good, and, and he trained hard, and, you know, I said, yeah, you know, people told me you were pretty lazy and so forth. And he said, I'm not lazy. I work, you know, he works, and he does work hard. And uh, he was listening really, really good. These combinations were training. We're getting really good together. His jab, he has a great jab, and then he, you know he just told me one day that I have no confidence in my jab, and I said, why, why not? You know, it's your best punch, and uh, I says, you know, you like Manny Pacquiao, his best punch is his jab also, and he's another guy that doesn't have a lot of confidence in his jab and doesn't set things up with his jab as much as I would like him to, and John's a little bit the same way. And because he does have a good jab, and he doesn't like to use it though as much, he likes to go with the power shots, and he does like to fight. And I do like that part about him a little bit, because I like to fight. And uh, but it's not always what I teach though. And I'm teaching him to be. I'm trying to teach him to be a better boxer, because he can be that. And I think in this fight, he needs to be a better boxer to win this fight. John does have a tendency where he likes to lay back and wait on the ropes a little bit. And I told him, you wait on the ropes a little bit, you're going to give him a chance to land the big right hand and to win the fight. I says that that'll be your choice.